Um, but yeah, you know, I was learning real estate and everything, and um, I wasn't really too heavy on social media, but my mentor was telling me, look, man, when you do good, man, document your journey. You know, so you can look back and you can see. So I would post my deals when I would get them under contract or, or, or when they get sold. So I would just post every time I sold, sold, sold. And I was so focused at the time, I wasn't even looking back. I'm just going forward. Sold, sold, sold. And for the first time, I think in 2018 or 19, me and my homie is in the mall and we shopping. You know, I'm like three years, four years into real estate now. And, um, and this, this, this guy, I grew up with this guy. We was in third grade together, fourth grade together. You know, my homeboy, we was really in the trenches together. And we walk in and somebody come up to me. He say, hey man, you mills. You mill, you, 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 flip, you flip houses. You, you know, you do the wholesale. Is it cool if I get a picture with you? I'm like, oh. I'm like, yeah, sure. I gave my phone to my homeboy, take a picture, cool get it. He man, thanks man, you doing your thing, bro. I appreciate it. Bet, right? I tell my homie, my homie like, what? <laughs> I know who you is. You that same dude from Cross Fletcher. You work in the mall seven years, man. You got cats coming up to you for a picture. Uh, let's fast forward. I meet Elijah. He doing this thing. I'm watching him on the internet. He doing this thing, doing this thing. Um, we was at um, we was at your house, and he was telling me uh, we went. Y'all heard of um, Investfest? So we was at Investfest together, and he was just telling me like how many people was coming up to him and wanted to take a picture. And we're so like, oh, I'll see you on TikTok. I'll see you on the internet, man. You're doing your thing. I love your videos. You're so inspiring. And I'm like, dang, that's dope, bro. I said, yeah, a couple people came up to me too. I said, man, it's crazy. Ain't it, Eli? Right? Like, people come up to you and want to take a picture. I said, I remember the first time somebody came up to me and wanted to, to take a picture. I was with my homeboy with the dreads. We was at, I named the mall. We was at International Mall outside of HM. He said, bro, that was me. I said, was I nice? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make sure I was good. Yeah. I wanted to make sure I was good, right? So that just goes to tell you, man, hey, you never know who you talking to. And then double back. This is my first paid speaking engagement ever in eight years of me giving back the knowledge. And it came from the guy who came up to me and who was showing love. So I really appreciate you for that, bro. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, this man from Staten Island, New York, came down to Tampa, completely changed his life from door dashing to flipping deals to now just having his first seven figure year. Y'all give it up for the man himself, Elijah Bryant. Yeah. Was lit. Yes, sir. Was lit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, y'all. Thank you, y'all. So First off, I want to say thank you guys for like your kind words. Thank you guys for traveling down here and for the people that set up like thank you. So today's focus is about shifting your mindset from the employee mindset to the entrepreneur mindset. Now, before we could do that, we have to figure out what the root cause of that mindset is. What I've noticed is the education system and our culture values. Now, the education system, y'all, it failed us. It taught us about, you know, they didn't teach us taxes, accounting, cooking, basic life necessities. What it taught us was YMX plus B, you know, how to stay in a straight line, things that we don't need, right? Now, our culture values, we're exposed to people working traditional jobs growing up, right? So what do we become influenced by? We become influenced by that. Now, in order to change that, we have to, you know, switch our mindset. So. The first thing I think that worked for me was self-education, right? Reading books, learning on YouTube, picking up different skills, traveling, getting out of your comfort zone. It was out of my comfort zone to come out here, right? But this is what you have to do, you know, in order to change your life. And then networking, being in circles like this, this inner circle of people that want to change their life and inspire to change their life. These are the people you want to be around, all right? So one of the first books that I actually read within my entrepreneurial journey was Think and Grow Rich. This book literally changed my life, y'all. Like chapter six, it talks about, you know, writing your goals down, really visualizing your goals and writing it down specifically on what you want, right? You want to read it three times a day, three times in the morning, 
three times right before you go to sleep. And then you want to feel it. You want to feel it as if it's happening right now. How would you feel right now if all your dreams, all your goals came true? And then once you get that feeling, that desire, you want to act on it immediately, right? You want to act on inspired action. So this is what I did, you know, around 2020 going into 2021, right? This is around when I was doing houses. This is even before land. I didn't know exactly how much I was going to make, but you know, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to visualize. I'm going to write down exactly what I wanted to make. So I'm going to read it for you guys right now, right? So first quarter, this is, uh, I wrote this down December 13th, 2020, right? So first quarter, I wanted to make 30,000, right? Second quarter, 32,000. Third quarter, I wanted to up it up, right? So I'm like, you know what, let me, let me get 50K, right? Fourth quarter, 52,000. Now in total, this is 164,000. I wrote exactly what I was willing to do to sacrifice, what I was like, what I was gonna do. So I'm gonna read it for you guys, right? So I said, I plan to create a system that will allow me to achieve my goals each month. I will invest in myself and my education to achieve my goals. My plan is to market. Continuous marketing leads to continuous leads, which leads to continuous offers, which leads to deals. So network and keep learning from my network. I will read this twice daily, once before bed and once every morning. My goal was I will make $164,000 or more for 2021. I plan on wholesale houses to make the money. I will create a system that will allow me to achieve my financial freedom. And I will do this by closing deals consistently. At the end of this year, you know, I read this every single morning, every single night. I felt it every single time I read this. And at the end of this year, I actually made 200,000 plus. You get what I'm saying? So I say that, I say that to say this, like the knowledge in the books, right? If we apply the knowledge in the books, that is how our lives change. So the offers we make today are the deals we're gonna close tomorrow. The beautiful thing about land flipping is a momentum based business. Who's here read the book, The Compound Effect? Anybody? Darren Hardy. Darren Hardy, right? The author, one of my favorite quotes is, he said, small smart choices plus consistency plus time equals a radical difference. Now, when I first started cold calling y'all, I was terrible. Probably the worst person in this room, right? But I remember locking myself in the bathroom, in the mirror, practicing the script, you know, hours upon hours, and then locking myself in my room at the time, right? And uh, cold calling eight hours a day. And every day I would get better, you know, day by day, month by month, to the point now where I closed over 170 cold call deals myself. So I'm a, uh, the reason why I put this quote is because I'm gonna reference it a lot within this presentation. Because I feel like it fits every component that I'm gonna go over today. So who's seen this diagram before, right? The guy that's chopping at the dirt. He's chopping, he's chopping at the dirt, and right before he gets to the diamonds, he gives up, right? And the reason why I put this, put this uh, diagram because it kind of relates to us. We dealing with dirt, we dealing with land. We wanna get to the diamonds, we wanna close deals. This game is a journey though, right? I went from Dubois, Pennsylvania, to Brooklyn, New York, to Tampa, Florida, to chase this first deal, right? So. It's gonna be a journey, right? We're gonna uh, have struggle times, we're gonna have great times, but the beautiful thing about momentum is it's gonna propel us forward without having to really think about it. So it becomes a habit. So as long as we don't give up, we are going to create a cash flowing real estate business. Now, in order to do that, we have to consistently put in the work. We have to, you know, in order to get deals, you have to put in the time and the effort. You have to get more no's. The only way to uh, get more yes, to get more deals, you're gonna have to pick up the phone and get more no's. I have a question for y'all. Who has the most misses in the NBA right now? Like all time? Jordan? No. Kobe. 
It's crazy to me because when I first thought about that, I would think it's the worst play in the world, right? Like Kwame Brown or something. <laughs> but no, right, right. Kwame, if you're watching this, no disrespect. <laughs> Fact. But I say that to say this, right? It's not, it's one of the best players ever. So what does that say? The more shots you make, the more calls you make, the more no's, the more misses you're gonna get. But that equals to a yes. That equals to a deal. So before we do that, that's the acquisition side now, right? For the builder side, we have to build connections, right? So if you got builders in different regions in Florida, that's gonna bring more deals to you. If you network with realtors in you know, Arizona, North Carolina, that's more deals coming to you. If you network with people within this inner circle, within the EDB Academy, within the free group, that is more deals coming to you. So as long as you apply and continue to build connections, more deals is gonna attract to you, right? And then you wanna take those small steps and apply it every single day. And that's how you get to the gradual growth to becoming an entrepreneur. So that's a little bit about my journey, right? But I want you guys to like focus on your journey. The beautiful thing about being in this room is that you guys have guidance. You have our help, you know? Our job is to turn this left side, the failures, trials, mentorship, into the right side, right? So you start off with your failures, your shortcomings. That's how you get to the success. Now you take the failures and success, and that's how you're gonna get you know, trials and tribulations. Now with those trials and tribulations, they turn into experiences, right? But you can only get so far with your own experience. You're gonna reach a roadblock. So this is when you guys have to, you know, hire mentorship, coaches. That's what you guys are doing right now. And what we're trying to do to you guys is turn that into knowledge. Now, what Mill said earlier, applied knowledge. If you guys apply the knowledge that we give you guys consistently and you do it every single day, I'm telling you, you're going to get to the point where, that we are and even better. Now... You're gonna have fear, right? You're gonna have risk. We all go through it, there's no way around it, right? But you're supposed to turn that fear into fuel. Use it to propel you. Like, I remember when I worked for Dan, right? I had to, you know, once we parted ways, I had to do the business myself. At the time, my first list on ListSource, shout out to ListSource if anybody used it, but my first list on ListSource was $2,500 at the time. I did not have it at the time, right? And then once I got the credit card, I didn't know how I was gonna pay it back or when I was gonna pay it back. I was scared, but I still did it. And even though I didn't close a deal from that list, it helped me get, build the connections, get to the point where I'm at today. So I say that to say this, you know, you're gonna have risk, but all the risk is doing is preparing you for when it's time for you to start your own business, you can venture off and do it yourself. Now, if you continue to invest in yourself and to your success, that is how you get to your long-term goals quicker. All right? So the first thing you want to do is set goals. But you want to set realistic goals. You want to set goals that feel good, that feel like you can achieve it. So for this mentorship, right, one of the things I tell some of you guys is you want your first deal, right? I want to make $1,000 in three months. Who feels like they can make $1,000 in three months? Everybody, right? So that's a goal that feels good. This is what you wanna, uh, when you're first joining into mentorship, uh, learning a new skill, you wanna set realistic goals. Now, the reason why you wanna set realistic goals is because you're gonna hold yourself accountable. You wanna ask yourself every single day, am I doing everything possible to reach that goal, right? Eventually, you're gonna reach that goal where you make that thousand. Now you have to grow your goals. So for that next three months, I want you to think, I wanna make 10,000 now, right? And then once you reach that point where you're consistently getting deals, this is when you delegate. You shift those responsibilities to employees so you can focus on bigger money-making tasks. That is the goal as an entrepreneur. We wanna focus on money-making tasks. Now, a couple action steps that I want you guys to do. One thing that I love to do was I like to take mental vacations. What a mental vacation is, is basically locking yourself in a quiet room, a room 
or a quiet area where you could just put on a playlist, no distractions for at least 20 minutes and visualize every single thing that you want. Visualize your first 10 deals. How would that feel? How would your family act, you know, once you get to 10 deals? How would your spouse, your brother, your sister, your husband, wife, how would they treat you once you're having a cash flowing real estate business? This is what you want to visualize, right? Then you want to see that vision through. You want to, you know, don't let the time go to waste. You want to continue doing it every single day. And then don't go too far ahead, right? Take it one deal at a time, one step at a time, right? Because the momentum is going to propel you forward. Now, you want to check that timeline, right? Don't get too far yourself. Stay in the moment, stay grounded, and continue to push every single day. So I wanted to give you guys also some land flipping tips, right? So one thing that I noticed that, you know, I feel like I excel at and what has made my business do very good within the last three years is I'm able to identify market changes and I'm able to know where exactly to focus on. Once you guys could put those two together, you're going to make a lot of money because you're going to find the right areas at the right time before the competition. Because even though we're here all here collaborating, at the end of the day, we still want the same thing. We're still hunting deals, right? So you want to get to those deals first. Now, in order to get to those deals first, you have to track your data. The numbers don't lie, right? So each month, what my team does, we write down a list of areas in Florida, North Carolina, Arizona, right? And we go to Zillow, right? I have my virtual assistants go to Zillow and I want them to put the sold lots in each area every, uh, every 30 days. And then I want them to put the average prices. And what I want you guys to pay attention to is when the prices go up. So I don't have July on this. I just have August and September. But in July, Lehigh Acres 33973, lots were selling for $30,000. Now, right now on the market, they're selling for $55,000. So these are the opportunities that you guys want to see before everybody else does, because that's how you're going to make money. Another example, and I'm pretty sure the people that's been in the, the mentorship within the past three to six months, Port St. Lucie. Just a couple months ago, we was making offers for 89, 90,000. Now the builder's paying 115,000. So what does this tell you? These are the areas you want to get to before everybody else, because that's where you're going to make all the money, right? So I want you guys to track your KPIs, right? And take the instructions I'm giving you today, apply it and work together. Network within, within this inner circle, the EDB Academy. You put all of those together. That's how you're going to become an entrepreneur. So start slow. Apply one thing I taught you guys today, tomorrow, make it a habit and never take two days off because you'll be better tomorrow if you start today. I appreciate you guys. And I appreciate that. If y'all got value from that, let me say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. If y'all got some value from that, let me say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Check it out. One thing you said I wanted to kind of uh, zone in on is this inner circle right here. So much value in what y'all going to get today. And not only just the presentations, but during networking time. Right? That's one of my favorite moments during any, any seminar, any type of mastermind. One of my favorite moments is when we get to network and we get to talk to other people and see how we can build a connection and see what type of value you bring and what type of value the person that you're talking to bring. Right? Or what type of value you can bring them. So, for example, I found a deal from, um, from Eli's, what's the, 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 the course, yeah. right? And, he, man, I've never seen a course that was just so easy to walk through. Each video is only 10 to 15 minutes, no longer than 15 minutes. We know how the human mind is, right? You can get bored easy or just running on. I don't want to watch no hour and a half replay Zoom. And y'all call that your course? That, that, that's lazy. The way he got that broke down. Look, this is how you find sellers. 
Part two, how you find sellers, how you find builders, your script, building a list, REI cash, right? So I told him, I said, look, bro, I haven't even, and I have access to Elijah to come up and say, hey, bro, can you show me how to do this, do that? No, I just went to the course. You know, I invested in the course. Even though I can go to him and say, hey, bro, can you show me how to? No, I said, let me invest in the course. Found my first deal from the course. Now, unlike wholesaling houses, you can't just put a house up. I mean, you can't just put a piece of land up on the internet and they get sold in the same day. I learned that quick. <laughs> oh, this game not that easy, huh? See, with my game, if you get a good deal in real estate and it's a nice property and you get it for a good deal, what I like to do is if I get a deal, I give a deal. That's how I get it off fast. I'm just turn and burn, turn and burn, turn and burn. It works with houses. With land, it's a little bit different. You got to go through that building relationship with the builder stage. You got to go through that kind of reverse wholesaling. Okay, let me find the buyer first, what's his criteria, and then work my way backwards. So I had a piece of land um, under contract, it didn't sell. So I pushed, he said, man, look, push it to the group. I push it to the group. He look it up, he said, man, that's too high, right? So I go and I find another one. I get another one locked up, I push it to the group. And thank God, my man Magic. <laughs> my man Magic with the assist. <laughs> was able to not only find the builder who was interested in that lot, right? But he was able to give me a criteria for that building, right? For not only that area, but surrounding areas, right? So a very, very valuable, and I appreciate that, bro. A very, very valuable contact came from the inner circle, from the group. Right? Not just from the course. So you got to do a little bit more than just doing the course or just going to it. Like it all plays a part in the success of your wholesale business, your real estate business, or your land flipping business. Now, another thing I want to touch on is that, man, that podcast is gold, bro. I tell you, if y'all like that podcast, let's do it. Because, right, with a podcast, it takes, it takes commitment. You have to put out a video every week in order to stay relevant. And the content needs to be educational, needs to be entertaining in order for people to like it, right? So I came across the podcast and I was watching a, a video with a young lady. And man, her story was so inspiring, right? I mean, somebody in the space to see people come in and what, learn and just the amount of time that it takes to learn nowadays it's cut a little bit shorter than when I started. Like, I didn't get my first deal in six months. You got people in the academy who's getting their deals on the first contact, first day, first week, <laughs> first 30 days, first 60 days. It wasn't that easy for us. Correct me if I'm wrong, bro. You're right. Right? So when I watched this story, I mean, I was up late night, like 1, 2 a.m., and I'm so inspired by this story. And this young lady said, look, when Elijah was doing his uh, coaching calls, he was doing them for like 350 a, 350 an hour, right? 300. 300 an hour, right? Probably didn't get that no more. For 30 minutes. 30 minutes. That's not available no more. Price done went up. <laughs> <laughs> right? Value done went up. But with that, with that $300 and that 30 minutes, the amount of value that Elijah was able to give this young lady was enough for her to go make calls the next day and land her first deal, the irony with 